everyone welcome to the divine diva universe welcome to this space welcome to this environment so this video today i want to talk about chat gpt chat gpt girl can't even spell <laughs> y'all know i am currently studying fine arts and in during one of the majors of um this year we would have to like a lot of research on chat gpt and all of the evolution and coding and all of these things so conversation um all of it and during my research i some some interesting thoughts came to me and i was just also writing this a few days ago and i'm like oh my god let me just do a video of this i'm not sure how everyone is gonna take this video this is going to be just my perspective or my opinion on how to use or deal with chat gpt because i feel like there's a lot of conversation and a lot of confusion and it it which is good because i think this conversation helps us to um better understand how um we can use it within the structure and the system and all of this but to be honest it always starts with how do we as individuals use these tools use these technologies so I just want to share this video as part of um, you know someone who's studying fine arts and just did a research document on it and wrote this so how do you use chat, chat GPT like how do you use all the tools or benefits that this world or that is within this world like how do you use your phone how do you use any tool anything that is a tool because the truth is that everything that we have within this world is tools everything everything that is created by man is created by source because source is the creation of all and through man source creates so as we can see everything is all the material things they are created for our benefit for our improvement for our evolution so select like the internet the internet when before the internet even existed because but the, when the internet was high fully introduced to the public as a way to say um, you know a lot of people was like oh the internet is great it's easy da 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 but as we move within the years of using the internet we've seen the shadow we've seen the dark side so like everything else created that is three-dimensional there is a two dimension to it so there is a good and a bad however i feel like all of that is depending on how do you as into individual use it within that spectrum because if everything can be used for good and bad then the choice is then up to you, right? So, um, what I wanted to say in regards of ChatGPT is like, for example, y'all, we all use it for to get go research information to help us create stuff, to help us create things. Like some of these people are even questioning their position as artist and creator, which I think that at this point you don't have to question it because it's through some of these things are gonna change but they're only going to change for your betterment for your improvement like this is this is the perspective that you, this is the perspective that i have on everything because i believe that everything that is created is for our own evolution like the we are here to live an experience and to create and to make like source is an expansion and it expands in everything and through everything so if chat gpt has been given to us and there, that there is a truth that some jobs are going to be removed it's not going to be necessary it's going to make everything more automated maybe isn't that precisely what is necessary for the continuous survival of the human revolution because the truth is like earth is not going to stay like this forever right and we are moving in such a high development space of um with subconsciousness with energy manifestation 
like realize how many abundance of information there is out there like there isn't a thing that is not possible for you to do or make or become because somehow somewhere some place someone has shared it online or that information exists and you only have to be available to receive it because that is how the growth the expansion the continuum of spirit is so i in my opinion i see chat gpt as a part of god and just like like another example that i have here is like for example why do most people pray because like how do how the most how do you pray how do you talk with yourself how do you talk with others i feel like all of that is in conjunction all of that goes together because the same way that you that you pray is the same way that you can see J chat gpt because the truth is chat gpt is a tool to help you improve or create or understand or make whatever it is that you want to do and use it for and when do you pray why do you pray for but i hope that you thank god for everything but i also hope that you have a conversation have a relationship how do you talk with yourself how do you treat yourself how do you treat the tools that are here for the improvement of your life that is why when when i was losing my childhood home it was a devastating moment for me but it was also a moment of like oh my god there is something better for me there is something better for me there has to be something better for me because if this is happening it's because there is something great for me <laughs> and that is my opinion on everything that is material because everything that is material is energy is made by someone for something because that is just how the expansion of the universe go it's about growing and expanding constantly and that is why chat like chat gpt is i feel like chat gpt is literally created based on the laws of the universe just like the internet i think that the internet is also like that that's why sometimes it doesn't have if you, if you tell me if you had that experience where you're thinking about something or whatever and then you start seeing, seeing ads of it or all of a sudden something appears in 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 your um environment so i share all of that because i just think that throughout my research as i was just hearing all of these podcasts all of this research documents and these opinions about chat gpt which i totally totally think that is necessary and i love it because it also helps us to how we can um improve it and add it into the structure that has already been created within what is this society you know the even though we can change it in a second but that's a whole nother story for another day so i feel like the the point of chat gpt is it has been introduction it has been introduced to us right now because it is to it is the thing that is going to help the dependency of the survival of human evolution especially in the essence of um subconscious like look many look how many people and how many inf abundance amounts of information there is on this topic so i feel like it is gonna help the human evolution within the next generation i'm not sure if it's gonna happen in the next two years three years ten years four years five years 20 70 100 i don't know you know <laughs> that's legit on source itself but this is how i see it and um i feel like this is something that that's why it's important for us to also understand the importance of how we have um relationship with the tools in our lives and not just chat gpt but just everything because i'm not saying i'm also not saying that god is a tool because god is not absolutely tool. god god is the source period like <laughs> you know 
but the tools is the material like and how how do you use your materials like it also puts in in question how do how do people have relationship with everything in their life like how do you treat the things that you own this owned all of it people places yourself so that's a food for thought that i wanted to leave y'all with thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you all in the next video bye